Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about the group by function in the player package. Uh, pre in the previous videos we have looked at over various functions. This is like the most useful one because you will use group by function to create a lot of reports and to summarize a lot of things like sum, mean, etc. And this will be eventually useful in your exploration, in your exploration of data set towards the final end of the exploration stage. Uh, to give you a brief overview of what we are going to look about in this video, I'll just click on the outline. First, we'll just import the data set that we use, uh, the sales order data set, which has been used in the previous videos as well. Apart from that, we'll be summarizing with sum. Uh, we'll first create a group by with the region, then with the reps to understand which region has the most, am most amount of sales and which rep has made the most amount of sales. Then we'll run over with the mean. I mean, if we can do a sum, group by why can't we group by mean and we can see which uh, uh, which uh, rep gives us the highest average sales uh, you know to understand okay even if a rep made the most amount of sales maybe they did they uh, had a lot of sales with a lesser average amount so this way we, we will get to know like who is making a higher than average amount of sales then we can just look over the n function to see what count we have in each region for sales like which region has the most amount of sales then which rep has made the made the most amount of sales and this will actually help us you know get a bit more insights about the data set and i will also keep highlighting the insights on the data set as we go along to you know give you an insight into how an analyst works with the group by function to explore and then note down certain thoughts that they can talk about with the uh, with the team later on finally we'll just i'll just give you a bonus tally function and then I'll show you the n distinct function, which helps us understand how many distinct people were operating in a certain field. Example, let's say there was there is a 1000 rupees of sale happening in a region, right? But how many reps are doing that sales, right? There might be 10 sales that happened, but there were only five reps doing those sales. So this n distinct help us reach that five item. And then at the last, when I finish the video, we'll be looking at grouping without summarizing. We won't summarize the data set. We'll just group and show how we can use base R functions to get a similar exploration without actually you know, using the deep layer function for everything at all. With that, let's get to it. So as usual, we'll first start by cleaning the environment using rm list is equal to ls and doing a control plus L to clear the console. Please check out the ribbon on the top right if you haven't watched the video yet. It's very useful and one, and one should also know like why we used RM is equal to LS every time when we clear the console. Then we'll just import the data set, nothing new, uh, the same old jargon, uh, sales order data set, you can see the sales order data set in the window. You can see that there's an order date, region, rep, item, units, unit, cost and total. Here we'll be focusing on the region and rep and the total amount that we want to check. So I'll close this for now and we'll move ahead now since we are working on the deep layer series i'll just load the deep layer package so that we can use the functions which are in that package okay now we come to the first topic it's summarizing with sum sum over sales let's take the sales order data set use the chaining operator to group by region now i want to see what regions are there a quick view of the data set i can you know tell me like it's it's a uh, east central east and west there are three regions so i'll actually make a report with three rows which has central east and west right this is how you understand okay that there are three categories in this column i need to understand okay when i group these categories what effect does it have on my report okay so i group by region and i want to summarize the sum of total so total is the amount of sales that's happened like the revenue into the unit sold and i want to name that column called overall sales so this is how you use a group by region and what do you want to group by it on i want to summarize it on sum so i'll group by central east and west and i will sum the sales that happened in central east and west right and then i'll arrange uh, using the descending function for overall sales so this is pretty straightforward we have covered it in the previous video i'll just run this chunk and we see a sales underscore regions popped up which gives me okay central has the highest number of sales east has six thousand dollars of sales west has two thousand four hundred eighty six dollars of sales right so this tells me central region has, has been the most uh, highest generating revenue across all the, all the three regions next is sum over reps now which reps have been doing the most amount of sales in absolute numbers again we do the sales order data set chaining operator we have to group by not by region this time the grouping will be by rep right 
where group by rep summarize will be the same i want to summarize on the total figure like amount of sales right and i'll arrange in the very same way that i did it for each so the only change here is i'm grouping by rep you if you just match it with the uh, top code that we ran it's just the region has changed by rep and that's all and when you run this there is a sales underscore rep created and it tells me that rep named kivel did the highest amount of sales and rep named parent has also done a very similar amount of sales on only seven dollars short right so these two are clearly my highest performers among all the reps that are present among the 11 reps that are present in that particular area right so this was summarizing with sum now we can use mean function as well to understand okay on an average who was better on an average who was higher right and if you would and if you would see the flow it will make the sense you just need to replace some by mean, and it will work as it is so if i want to do the same thing for a rep sales order chaining operator group by rep now i want to summarize average sales by mean of total not some mean of total and i'll get the exact same data set but with mean right and i just run it and you'll get sales rep average data set i open it i get to know that parent on each of his sales is doing an average of one thousand dollars right so this is how it's important even though kivil has the most revenue but parent is actually making a higher amount of uh, average sales on each sale so if i want to you know maybe uh, give a shot to any one of the two to, uh, to do a sale in a particular territory i might prefer parent because he or she has more potential to give me more revenue right so this is like some of the insights that you can think while you are using this data set or exploring this data set okay now we have done some mean now we'll move on to summarizing with n function n so n is basically counts if you want to do counts you just replace some with n so sales order chaining operator group by region summarize by count region count is equal to n so this just tells how many sales happened in each region right i'll run it we get sales region count i'll open it up I had 24 sales east had 13 sales west had six sales so if you add it up 24 plus 13 is 37 37 plus 6 is 43 i think the data set has 43 observations and we are bang on so this is also one of the qc or quality control checks that you can do while exploring the data set like does the count add up to the original number of rows in the column so this also tells me that if that central was contributing the most in the sales but it also has the most amount of sales right so this is how you can actually explore okay but what is the average of each of the sales in central what is the average of each of the sales in east versus west then you can take a decision in which territory you want more people to go or more people to sell so just you know scraping the surface of how analysis is done and how insights are calculated from exploring the data set okay moving ahead now we want to see the counts just as we saw for regions it we can just check for rep as well to see how many i mean how many sales did each rep do right in the data set i'll run it we'll get sales rep count and we'll see jones did the most amount of sales right but Kivel and Parent were the most uh, profitable and the you know who brought, who brought in the most revenue, right? But they did very very few more like three or four amount three or four unit unit of sales in the whole data set. So this tells us that even though Jones is doing more amount of sales, maybe he might be in a region where the average sales is very very low. He is not able to get a higher amount, even though he is getting the more amount of sales right so this just counts uh, lets us know like who is making the most effort who is getting the most number of sales even though it might not be the highest number e sorry e e even though it might not translate into the highest amount of dollars that can be extracted from those sales right so this is also one way you can just correlate with region versus rep anytime you use summarize with the count function or the end brackets function uh, that is highlighted on the screen it can basically be replaced with tally so the crux is why to use two functions to get the same output when you can just use the tally function and let's see how that works so what i'll do is sales order chaining operator group by rep and i just want to tally tally means check the count right i don't want to use summarize then add uh, a, a name of the column and then say run the count function right and when i run this sales rep tally data frame is created and it has the very same answer 
And this is a shorter way of exploring a data set when you want to just understand, okay, how many uh, sales are there in the data set for that particular rep, right? So this is just a bonus feature that you can use if you use the count function a lot on your end and you just want to save some amount of time. In the long run, this will be beneficial and you will actually, you know, use this wherever necessary to understand, okay, uh, we, need, we need to do count, let's use the tally function and let's not use the summarize function every time when we want to do this. Now, let's uh, dive into the latter end of the video section and this is focused more on the distinct function. Earlier we looked into the n function, this is n underscore distinct. Now, first I'll, uh, you know, explain it to you why do we need n underscore distinct. So we need to first understand, okay, in a particular region, how many sales happen? Let's say Central had 30 sales, but how many reps were doing those 30 sales? That's important as well. So should we explore it every, every time differently? No, we can actually make a one report itself that can give us that certain answers. So this is an attempt on that. Sales order, chaining operator, group by region. First of all, first column will be region. Then I need to check, okay, region sales count, which is N function. We are aware of it. We just looked at it on the top. Then we want the rep count. Rep count is N distinct rep, right? So I am summarizing the whole data set by region along with two columns, right? And when I run this, you will see what I'm talking about. It's very difficult to visualize when you're doing it for the first time. But as you move ahead, it's very, very easy to see how the data set is panning out. And when you see it's the sales region data set, you'll see first is the group by region, right? Then you summarized by region sales count. And it's the same data set that we saw earlier. 24 plus 13 is 37 plus 6 is 43. And 43 is the amount of rows that are in the sales order data set, right? Then you check, okay. Six reps were operating in the central region, three were operating in the east region, and two were operating in the west region. That makes sense. You have the highest amount of rep allocation in central region. I mean, you cannot just say that central is the best territory because, you know, they are just uh, getting in the most amount of uh, money to your business. You can just say, I'm allocating most of my resources there. That's why it's happening. So that's how you actually use dplyr, its functions of n, n distinct, and uh, group by summarize to you know get to these certain insights now let's say you just want to explore the data set and you don't really want to use deep layer every time and you still want to you know see how can i just create small views that might help me without using the summarizing function because summarizing function if you keep using every time you might not be able to achieve what you exactly want to achieve base functions like table can actually be called to view certain outputs and can be leveraged as per the requirement that you have to explore the data you need. So I'll just, you know, give it a try to, you know, see if you can, uh, you know, understand what am I talking about and what you can leverage when you move forward on it. Sales order, group by region, very same. We have seen it above. No need to worry about this. Uh, select item. We only want to select the column name item. And we want a table function to run over it. We had many items, right? And we want to see the table across these items for each region, group, for each group region. So we'll have one column of central, east, west. And in the above columns, we'll have all the items one by one with their respective counts. Because table function just creates a table which has a lot of different cells. So I'll just, I'll just run that to, you know, make sure that you can see it while I just explain it to you so you have region central east west and the items on the top for binder desk pen pen set and pencil so now you know that central had 8 plus 9 17 plus 4 21 plus 2 23 plus 1 24 so the 24 units of sale that happened in central were actually distributed among these items so this table function is very powerful and if used or as per your requirement, this can help you a lot in exploration and can just, you know, give you beautiful tables that you can leverage later on to build charts in PowerPoint or build charts in R as well uh, to show it to your management. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.